Hello, everybody. Sidest you here. Um, this, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is a another build video, as I promised. But it's not a sniper build. It's no other any odd build. This is kind of like a brand new version that I've. It's kind of like a a huge upgrade. Ever since the patch, I've noticed a few. Obviously, I noticed a few talents got a buffed and nerfed, and the first thing I want to mention is that that your tank like there's more tankiness now like you have a lot of health and armor now so as of so this build is a little different is something I thought I would never do it actually took me quite some time I had to grind out some level 3 control points to get some of this loot um, but uh, the build is actually done. I can switch between. The only thing I have to switch between is my gloves. But I found out that compensated is kind of bugged out to where the talent doesn't really work. So um, hopefully anybody, any devs can fix that that talent for gloves. All right. So um, I'm gonna go straight into this build, which is right here. This is my LMG build, which is a universal build actually. It's for PVE and PVP. Um, this works for both, because I've done, I've actually completed like level three, level four control points with this build, and I've also like smacked people around with this build in Dark Zone. So this build actually works for both sides. So it's universal. So it works pretty much anywhere, honestly. Um, you really. You really don't need to switch uh, specialists, if but as far as if you really want to have like stability, a ton of it, then I guess that would work for you. I'm sticking to demolitionist because of the damage and obviously the one talent where I think it's um, which is which is crisis response. Um, but anyway. So the first gun, or the both guns that I'm using, is a classic M60 and a M M249B uh, with 32.7k worth of base damage, and this one has 32.3. Uh, both of these guns, uh, it's not bad. I enjoy it. It's really, really good. I do not mind it whatsoever. It's a really, really decent weapon. Uh, both of these come in handy. Um, so those are my two LMGs that I'm using with this build. I've, I've seen people use double M60 before, and not gonna lie, that's a little efficient in a way because you will get the same damage, but there's no term of how luck, how much luck you'll get with that base damage if it's the exact same. Anyway, I have a Gila Guard mask with 18,000 health, and... 3% cooldown reduction. Now, I know Spotter got buffed, and I was thinking about using Spotter on this build, but you gotta have a ton, and I mean a ton, of pulse skill power in order for Spotter to actually have a full benefit. So, I'm not gonna use Spotter with this build, uh, so I'll just stick with hard hitting, because it would make sense if, I'm, if I were to use this build in like a mission or something. And here's just my utility mod slot. It's a protocol. Uh, right here, this vest could be so much better if it had higher weapon damage. I'm using a Giligard chest piece with 14,000 health, 22,000 armor, and 6% weapon damage with a Bloodsucker. I actually find Bloodsucker really useful with this build because you have a lot of ammo and as soon as you knock that person's armor down you get more which really makes you extremely tanky and you'll and by landing headshots it will increase the you know it will just full benefit of the talent you'll pretty much kill people a lot faster with this which sucks is that the low gear score which hopefully I'll find another chess piece similar to this that is Gilegard, so and these are my mods. Agent in need of backup. 
these are the mods that I'm using. <coughs> right, my holster is the Murakami Industries holster with 21,000 health and 393 plus skill power with uh, extra 141 with turret. Uh, not too sure what's really special about this holster. It's just a basic holster with defensive and uh, and two utility and my backpack which is a Petrov defense group uh, weapons bag with 5% cooldown reduction 10,000 health 9,000 armor and 279 skill power with on the ropes and hardened this was a really really lucky drop um, <clears throat> I found a similar one but it had a uh, crit chance on it and I really didn't want that because my build soon as the patch came out that's when I was going to apply that backpack but it didn't didn't really work with what I had in total so it, I just didn't want to use it and I think this is the one right here which has better armor but that crit chance I don't want for sure now my gloves is what I really want to get into for this entire video <clears throat> now I have two pairs of gloves um, this one has this is Overlord with 3% shotgun damage and 10% LMG damage along with Devastating. Now, I could switch between these this other pair of gloves, which I have over here. Uh, it's already at the bottom. Where is it? I passed it up somewhere, did I? Oh, it's right here. Um, this <clears throat> has 9% LMG damage with Compensated. It'll drop my, it'll drop my um, off offensive attribute by 1. But I noticed that compensated is pretty bugged out, which means it really doesn't work. If that makes sense. So I kind of just switched to this pair, along with higher armor and devastating. Why not? Along with the LMG damage. Lucky enough to have 10%. I had an 11%, but I accidentally scrapped it. So it's whatever. And last but not least is my Gila Guard knee pads with 7% total armor with Entrench. Now, I could change this. I could change Entrench to Patience, uh, which I will do if I have a piece with Patience on it that I'll probably never use. Let me see. Just to correct a few things. Just to make sure. Okay that's not really good so I'm gonna take that I don't have enough I don't have enough electronics I always run low electronics man I've been farming level 3 control points for like three hours straight and I just still don't have enough electronics but whatever I'm not gonna worry about that right now cuz it's not really necessary and so in total I have a 3117 build pretty pretty rough to get especially for LMG but it's pretty easy if you really know how to use it and by far by far this build literally works every time I get kills every time it obviously it works so much better in in conflict I've used it in conflict for like three or four matches and it it did very good I'm surprised um, occupied it was okay uh, I didn't really see a difference, but I, but I will go to shooting range just to demonstrate the damage. I might have a bit, a few bit of internet connection problems, so. <clears throat> right, let's let's change this to elite. See the stability is really not great on here. It kind of like moves side to side. As you can see, and plus, if you're wondering, like how much? Okay, I'm gonna let that armor reset. And I'll. All right. So the max stack is six. Okay. To demonstrate this even better, I'm gonna turn this to veteran. To veteran uh targets. Just to get a full benefit of Bloodsucker. So this is one, two, 
three. Four. Five. Six. Look how much armor I have. That's over a hundred points, maybe. Probably 200 points of armor right there. That is a ridiculous amount. You can't even, like, make that out. So, if you manage to get lucky to take on a 1v3 with this build, you could probably perfect it better than mine, honestly, because there could be at least two pieces that could make this build a, lot, a little bit better. But, other than that, if you can manage to do a 1v3 with this, uh, this will be nice. And and plus you'll have this will be a really crazy build. So in other words, you get 120% extra armor if we're to not take damage. I believe I'm not too sure what the percentage is. Uh, I think it's 25%. Yeah, 25%. So, in other terms, I think that would be, like, I, I want to say, I don't know, maybe, like, 150, 125 bonus armor. And, like, you get so much from that. So, yeah, this is my uh, <coughs> universal LMG build. Works for PvE, works for PvP. Uh... I will have a conflict video out soon using this build and I'll see you guys later and drop a like and sub if I manage to get 10 to 15 likes I promise I will do a sniper build I don't know why I'm gonna keep enforcing this but I will do one just to see how well I can do with this build because honestly sniper rifles or like marksman rifles whichever you want to call it are really I just my least favorite category of a weapon so I will do a build on that and <laughs> might be trash but I don't know I'll figure it out and see you later